In this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to add plugins to your Servio Media Server. More specifically, I'm going to show how to add um, Twitch.tv support and YouTube channel support to your Servio Server. So this will allow you to browse any of your Twitch.tv channels or your YouTube channels directly on your PS3, Xbox, or any other DNLA device. So the first thing we need to do is head on over to forum.servio.org. Alright, so on this site, if you look towards the middle there, there's the online resources, and you'll see there's available plugins, plugin requests, and plugin development. So we're going to go for the available plugins, and you'll see here that there's all kind of options. There's, these are all plugins here, so you, there's Twitch.tv, um, there's YouTube, um, there's uh, TED.com, there's all kind of plugins. But uh, if you look at the one at the top there, the APP for Servio 121, that's actually, I think it stands for All Plugins Pack, but it's a, it's a big zip of um, all the plugins that are available, or a good portion of the plugins that are available for Servio. So you can download that and install that to your server rather than download them one by one. And uh, Twitch.tv and YouTube are included in this package. So go ahead and click that link at the bottom, download the file, and you see that I've already downloaded here, and it's, uh, it's only about 260k. But uh, on the left hand side here, this is the uh, the zip archive that I already downloaded, and this is it extracted, and you'll see that each plugin has its own file. So we got, there's a CNN one, and now uh, let's look for that Twitch.tv, there's the YouTube one, and there's the Twitch one. Okay, so we're going to select all these and copy them, and uh, we're going to paste them into... Um, this is the path here to actually see program files, Servio, and plugins. And uh, so we're just going to select all those plugins, copy and paste them into there, and now they should successfully be seen by Servio. Okay, so now what do we do now that the plugins are installed? Because if you look at the Servio server, it actually doesn't look any different at all. So you have to open up the console and go to the library tab, and we want to go to the online sources tab underneath there. And this is where you're going to add your content or your channels that you're going to that are going to be used through the plugins. And you see we have options for RSS feeds, live streams, and web resources. And uh, there's a field for the source URL, the display name that you'll see on Servio, the media type, and a thumbnail URL. So uh, let's go over to my YouTube channel here. So you'll see that YouTube channels are youtube.com slash user slash the username or the channel name. So in Firefox, if you go over to the right with the little uh, folder looking thing with the star, you can subscribe to the channel and it'll give you the RSS feed. So what we go ahead and copy that URL that it gives us and we're going to paste it into the uh, source URL f field. And for the display name, we're just going to name it um, robwillis.info and it's going to be video and we're going to go ahead and add that and that's all there is to doing YouTube channels alright so now for the twitch.tv side of things it works kind of the same way except for the whole address that we're going to use for twitch.tv we're not going to use an RSS feed we're just going to use the actual um, web URL for their channel scheme so you see you click channels on the left there and then at the top you see the URL is twitch.tv slash username and uh, that's actually going to be the whole channel scheme that we're going to use on uh, Servio. So we just go up there and copy and paste that. Now um, there is some like uh, iffy support for uh, paid channels or channels that you have to log into but uh, I couldn't test those out because I'm not really a twitch.tv user. But you see we're going to do web resource this time for the type and we're going to paste the uh, source URL and we're going to name it uh, twitch.tv do that in lowercase and uh, start our twitch.tv stream and then we're gonna go ahead and add that alright now that we've got our channels added let's go ahead and save and uh, notice at the bottom there uh, there's some options for max retrieval uh, ex at the time to expire and um, some settings for quality as well so uh, we kind of made a lot of changes to the server so whenever I do that I usually like to restart the service so we we'll go ahead and stop and start the server now to uh, make sure it comes up fresh and picks up everything like all those plugins and stuff all right, and the server's back up and running. And uh, let's go to the presentation tab real quick. Uh, one thing to make sure is if you've messed with this at all, like I tend to uh, make mine show the folders only, uh, but you have to make sure that the online option is enabled and uh, make sure that it's showing your content there because if it's disabled and you set up everything right, you'll never see it anyway. Like it just, it won't show. And uh, that pretty much wraps up setting up the server itself. It should now be fully configured with the plugins and uh, we have some channels set. So let's go ahead and uh, test it out. Alright, so we can see that we're uh, over on the PlayStation 3 now, 
And uh, it's the same setup I use for my uh, ultimate setup guide. This is the test VM, and uh, this is the PlayStation's one wired gigabit. So we see our test server there, and we see the uh, streams, the robwillis.info, and the twitch.tv streams that we added. And uh, there you go, that's my whole YouTube channel, or at least 20 videos from the RSS feed. And let's go ahead and try one out. And it starts streaming no problem. So this video is actually completely playing off YouTube streaming right now. It's not actually saved on Servio at all. And you see it sets, it's set up to pick up about 20 videos or so. So uh, let's check out the twitch.tv streams. Um, so we see this one here is 1080p. I'm going to try and find one that's uh, 720. Because it seems like Twitch is, uh, sometimes can be a little bit laggy, especially on the higher def ones. Now uh, if the stream is offline, you might not see the option. Or there might not be anything there but you see that it uh, loads successfully. Like I said, it can be a little bit laggy, but it, it usually catches up.